I imagine a world where the magic of refreshable braille displays is accessible to every visually impaired person without breaking the bank. But for years, the cost of refreshable braille devices has been, well, let's just say not very pocket friendly. Restricting the visually impaired from accessing such an important technology holds them back from educating themselves, accessing digital literature and getting further in their careers. And I sought to change this with this small device. Introducing the Electromechanical Refreshable Braille Module, a project born out of the need to make refreshable braille devices more accessible and affordable for everyone. Thinking from first principles, I sought to understand why braille devices were so expensive to begin with. A refreshable braille display is made up of many individual cells, which are in turn made up of piezoelectric actuators that require custom complex manufacturing processes to fabricate. And since assisted devices are produced in much smaller quantities as the demand is much lower compared to general electronics, the cost of an individual braille cell will always remain high. And so the cost of a full braille display is directly correlated to the cost of a single braille cell, usually coming to about $100 per braille cell. And thus my goal was pretty simple, reduce the cost of a single module and directly reduce the cost of a full braille display. I wanted to create a braille cell that could be affordably produced in low quantities does not depend on any specialty parts and can be built at a fraction of the cost of a conventional braille cell. Combining an innovative electromechanical system with off-the-shelf components, 3D printed parts and micromagnets all working together to keep the costs low without compromising on functionality. Our goal was to build a braille cell that could cost less than $10 to make, consumes minimal power and is easy to manufacture and assemble. And guess what? We made it happen at less than a dollar in cost in materials and one watt of power. At its heart is an eccentrically mounted cam embedded with a micromagnet that is influenced by an electromagnet that causes the cam to rotate and in the process lift a braille dot. It is simple, efficient and ensures low power consumption as the power is only consumed during the actuation and not required to maintain the state of the pin. From parts optimized to print on a low cost MSLA 3D printer to a motorized tool to wind the micro solenoids Every step is optimized for cost, efficiency and accessibility so that the braille cells can be manufactured anywhere in the world by anyone. And those tiny magnets, they are the heroes making this project possible and are the main reason that this mechanism can be miniaturized to such an extent. And the best part is that they are easily available. On the electronics front, we've taken inspiration from flip dot displays and mechanical 7 segment displays as they are very similar to our functionality. With a multiplexer system and taking advantage of the fact that once a braille pin is actuated, it stays that way without continuous power, only a few microcontroller pins are needed to drive a whole array of cells using a bank of source and sync transistor ICs connected to a decoder IC. We have released a reference schematic for a driver board to run 8 braille cell modules as well as PCB libraries and device libraries for designers to integrate these braille cells into their products. We see the integration of these braille modules in more than just refreshable braille displays, but integrated into ATMs, public signages, museums and much more to make the world a more accessible place for the visually impaired. The electromechanical refreshable braille module is not just a device, it's going to be a revolution. Making digital refreshable braille finally accessible.